sometimes in quilting, especially when you're cutting sashing and borders, you need to cut a piece that is not only longer than your ruler, it's also longer than your mat. How can you measure something that's that long? Well, here's a little trick that I use. So the first thing is, in this situation, I do use the lines on the mat, which I always say, don't use the mat, use the ruler. But in this case, I do. And if you're cutting something that's really, really long, then being off by 1% or less is usually something you can live with. So this mat is only 12 inches wide, but what if I want to cut something that is 20 inches? Well, to do that, I would line my strip up with one of the straight lines on the ruler and I would start at the zero, which is this line here. And then because it's 20, I'm going to do 10 and 10. So I will follow along and find the 10 inch line. And that's this line right here. Then I'm going to put a pin right on the 10 inch line, but put a pin in on both sides. That will help um, eliminate error on that. And then I will slide it down so that the pin, right where the pin marks go in, that is on the zero line. And then follow along and find the 10 inch line. 10 plus 10 is gonna make 20. And yes, double check this before you cut. But once you've, once you've double checked and measured, then you can cut the piece and you'll have a 20 inch piece. So don't let a small mat and a small ruler hold you back from being able to cut big pieces. For more tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe and follow Evita Studio. Bye.